by cancer. So this is a different environment, but I'm still going to do you guys this reading. So um, let's just see what comes out. Happy New Year. Um, sorry that, you know, I'm still kind of trying to catch up on sleep and whatnot. <laughs> okay. So I'm using um, Moonchild Tarot deck today and the Voodoo deck to see what we can see. First four cards out were the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So um, this is a situation that's obviously going to be uh, about learning how to establish something. Ace of Pentacles in the upright would be that offer being put on the table. Six of Swords in the reverse would mean that somebody is not moving forward with something or not moving towards something. And the Page of Pentacles can sometimes be a child or a new opportunity, a new endeavor, a new undertaking of some type. Um, which is really weird because I was about to shuffle and as soon as I said the word undertaking, the Guida card, the Rana Guida card came out, which is number three, and the Ogun Furo, number five. All right, so let's get some clarifiers for this overall general message. I'm just kind of seeing that somebody was pouring energy, effort, time, love, all that kind of good stuff um, into a, an offer that they had. And then this, this kind of... Uh, There's an offer on the table to learn a new way of building something so that you can offer or move towards a new endeavor or a child or some kind of a fledgling project. I'm not sure what that project might be in your life. But... Okay. <laughs> All right, so the clarifiers that I got for you are actually kind of interesting. In the upright, the this card is Azon, I guess. It's number three. And it's kind of the whole community. I don't know if you guys are familiar with deities, your deities and all of their names and whatnot, but Oshun, Oya, and Yamaya can all sometimes be pictured as having their face covered with beads or covered either all the way with beads like this lady is or from the, you know, obviously the eyes down. And it's interesting because in a reading that I just did the other day, uh, I was talking about opening your third eye further. So when you think about having something covering most of your face, like a mask that we all have to wear these days, you're basically exposing to everybody all three of your eyes at all times. But like I was talking, it sounds really muffled. You can't feel it. Muffled. It sounds really muffled. You know what I mean? It's not very loud when you've got a cover over your face, you know? However, that being said, the next card out is number eight, so Simbi de la O. So this is the symbol of the water or the um, excitement in the water. There's something in the water. So without the community backing something up, there may be a, an overriding arching issue that along with these initial, you know, seven of pentacles in reverse, this could be what you're no longer working towards. 
um, without the community being involved, you feel like you're being eaten or consumed or uh, overwhelmed, completely outnumbered by all of this, all of these snakes, unless you are this huge big snake, like a dragon or anaconda or whatever kind of snake this is. Um, in large part, the reason why you're leaving is because this is sick. Whatever relationship there is that had been offered or put on the table is not moving you towards your goal, which is to have an offer on the table or to, to offer a new opportunity or a new child, maybe to the family or to the community or whatever. Um, there's something about that offer or your attempt to bring that into fruition that's just not moving right now. So it's like a sick situation, not as sick as in like demented or something, something like that, but it may be making, ooh, yeah, yeah, like I'm just, excuse me, I keep on burping, but I think it's because you just can't necessarily figure out, um, you know, how to fix more than yourself, which would make a lot of sense because you're only one person. Um, you may be feeling a little bit over exerted or overextended at this point, uh, especially if you're noticing patterns that are sick in society or within your household or whatever organization you're with, um, whatever this new offer is, there's just something about the conditions surrounding the offer that's actually not healthy. And uh, specifically because that card has a small baby on it. And the page of pentacles was out here. I strongly get that this is kind of some type of a, a community mentality, a communal mind, a general vibe that is maybe being embodied. And it's something that you don't want to involve yourself with. If you're going to have it, you're going to offer a new fresh new uh, start to something. You don't want to walk into it with this energy. It's probably, you probably want to get rid of that energy before you walk through any door. You know, you need to move from one to the other. Where, wherever you are, you got to be willing to shift or willing to, you know, pick yourself up in a certain way so that this festering is what I'm hearing. It's just a bubbling, festering kind of... I don't so much get that this is like a physical thing, a physical illness that's affecting somebody. I more so get that this is literally their, like the community's mindset about in reaction to, about what you're doing, um, how you're doing it maybe. Uh, it's something having to do with that being an issue and maybe a light being shown directly on that issue. As you can see, all you can see is the bed and a, a big old bright light right over it. So, you know, when you think about hospital beds and hospital rooms, they're so sterile. They're so incredibly, you know, flickering halogen lights and all this other kind of good stuff. They can be scary only because there's so much going on. But at the same time, um, when you think about the reason you go to the hospital is to get better, obviously. So maybe something has not gotten any better for you. And maybe it's been far too long. Maybe you've spent too much time offering this. And that's why the Ace of Pentacles is now on the table to just kind of let it go. Um, I'm not sure. Let's get some clarifiers. I will also enlist the help of, um, you know, right away throughout just like one card to see what is going to come with this in the future for you guys or which direction you should be going in to have the best results and the positive outcome that you, you prefer. Oh, <laughs> there you go. This is the higher font card, which is the commitment card. If you're married, if you're deeply committed to something, um, if you put the time, space, effort, and energy into a project, um, the higher font comes out in the upright. In the reverse, this is not a commitment. It's no commitment, no actual in, um, input that's helpful. 
about this in the future. So I think it maybe would be wise for you to reconsider what feels healthy to you. What can we improve amongst our own lives to kind of move ourselves towards enrichment instead of other people having to be involved just so that that, I mean, that's what social distancing is all about is so that we don't all get sick, right? Social distancing can work the same way as mental distancing. <laughs> you can mentally distance yourself from people. You can emotionally distance yourself from people. You can physically distance yourself. Um, you can figure out a way to circumlocute or get around the main issue um, if you're creative and if you have uh, the confidence and the means to do so, I would suggest that you do since the higher font is not coming. This commitment is not ever necessarily going to manifest. You may need to have a little bit of faith moving forward that um, whatever it is that you do invest in or whatever it is that you want to invest in will be a solid offer. And maybe, you know, lessons that are learned by failed commitments are also lessons that are really valuable because it, knowing what you do want is just as valuable as knowing what you don't want. That way you can switch things around for yourself according to your highest and best interest and so that you'll experience the most happiness. And that's all that anybody really wants, right? So anyway, Cancer, that was kind of... Um, Good. I think it was a good week, especially for the new year, because if you're putting down old issues and moving into the new year with a clear mindset on how you'd like to proceed, there's like, who's complaining about that, right? Um, good luck if you did want that commitment or if that was disappointing to you. Uh, don't feel disappointed. Just look, try to stay positive until you get to the other side of the bridge. So, um Take care, guys. Uh, be safe. Have a good one, and I'll see you next time.